Royal Pole. Should Boris's Brexit flagship be named after the late Duke of Edinburgh? Boris Johnson has confirmed plans for a £200 million successor to the Royal Yacht Britannia to advance his global Britain vision. But with the Queen apparently less than keen on the idea, today Express readers are being asked. Should it be named after her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh? The Prime Minister said the vessel would represent a clear and powerful symbol of Britain's determination to play an active role in the international area. Tory MPs including Craig McKinley are already pushing for it be named in honour of Prince Philip, who died last month at the age of 99. The Duke, who had a long and distinguished naval career, was also involved in the design of Britannia, which was officially decommissioned in 1997. However, insiders have suggested Buckingham Palace is far from sold on the idea. Believing the massive ship would be too grand, a symbol to be used by the monarchy. One senior royal source said, it is not something we have asked for. Buckingham Palace has no involvement in the process, another source emphasized. They explained, it is a government decision. Buckingham Palace has not been involved in the decision, but we respect it. The comments contrast with a claim by a Whitehall insider that the plan needs to be confirmed by the Queen but the intention is to name it after the late Duke. Sam Coates, Sky News's deputy political editor, hinted all was not well last month when he tweeted. I'm told the PM hasn't asked the Queen if she'd like a new yacht. She is well aware of the optics, nor has he asked about using Prince Philip's name. Palace apparently very displeased with this suggestion in the papers. Earlier this month, Mr. McKinley said, a new national flagship proudly bearing the name of Prince Philip can be no better memorial to this much-loved and respected man.